My name is James Davies, and today I'm going to talk to you about a new feature we released in Tenable Vulnerability Management and Nessus Agent 10.8.0. This feature is called the Continuous Assessment Scanning for Linux. We will be supporting Windows and Mac OS later, but for now, it only supports Linux and Agent 10.8.0. One of the benefits of the continuous assessment feature is that when it's enabled or installed, the agent will create a baseline and then monitor for any changes on the asset automatically. So in a very quickly timeframe, if a patch is deployed, the agent will see that patch and report that data up to Tenable Vulnerability Management. This allows you to basically get that information quickly. So you don't have to wait on a scan window or a triggered scan to look to see if that vulnerability was fixed. The performance overhead is negligible. You will not see a, lot, a big change in your performance of the agent. To enable this, there are a couple different ways. We need to go into settings and sensors, and you'll notice under Nessus agents, you have a profile tab. You can add this to an existing profile or create a new profile. I'm going to walk you through both. So when you click add an agent profile, you'll see a name. You can either leave the agent version blank. And again, has to be agent 10.8 or higher. You'll see down here, enables, enable continuous assessment scan. Once you enable this and set your baseline scan frequency, any agent that is linked to this profile will automatically have the continuous assessment module enabled. There is no need to deploy another agent or reinstall the agent. Once enabled, the agent that, that supports it will have a new icon called Runtime Scanning. To add this to an existing profile, you can open up a profile and come down here and enable a continuous assessment scan. You can even use the profile ID to link a new agent or link existing agents to this profile ID. As a tip, Continuous assessment scanning is not supported in Tenable Security Center. To look at the data that is provided by continuous assessment, we need to go into findings and vulnerabilities. We'll come over here and we'll create a source filter. So we've added a new source called Agent Runtime Scanning. This name is subject to change uh, and will be updated to reflect the continuous assessment name. We are now able to see all vulnerabilities found by continuous assessment. On the flip side, we can reverse it and just show vulnerabilities that were fixed by continuous assessment. Again, we didn't have to wait for a scan to complete or a triggered scan to, to kick off. We are now seeing that data as it happens flow into Tenable Vulnerability Management. Another way you can view this data is by going to dashboards and opening up a template called agent risk analysis. Once you add this in, you'll be able to see the source of continuous assessment from your agents and also your normal agents. This gives you a high level picture of what was found via continuous assessment versus agents. Thank you for watching along. If you have any questions, please let us know.